Hey, SK fans, the Onyx here, joined by Porpoise of Team 8, and uh, they actually just have a 2-0 weekend. How do you feel after a 2-0 weekend, Porpoise? Uh, well, obviously that was our goal to go 2-0, so we're pretty happy. <laughs> but short, yeah. All right, so you actually don't die a single time out of both games with what 10 0 21 a ridiculous amount and then you go 8 0 8 now on both rexi like wh where does that come from where's your hidden talent man i i need to know where you what makes you well it was kind of like this uh transition between the last couple of weeks where i'm just like i'm just gonna not die at all and then i actually didn't really die at all so <laughs> it was pretty really surprising to me that it was just that easy to do that but uh yeah I really love to see those huge scores because that's like I get on the OP players list and that's great. So, all right. So actually, I noticed that in the the first couple games, and um, you've actually built a sight stone on Rexi. Is that the new thing? Like y you are a full utility support. I mean, f full utility support in the jungle. I mean. Well, uh, generally, I love to go sight stone on Rexi because you're not gonna be really too tanky. Uh, you can you can get tankier if you rush that like Randuins instead of the Sight Stone, but the vision you get from that Sight Stone is so so good to making plays. Um, you're you're really just not jumping in front of them with Rexi and like engaging fights most of the time anyway. So you're trying to pick the right fights, which Sight Stone helps you do. So uh, I almost always go Sight Stone, whether we're ahead or behind on Rexi. It's just a really really good item. So that's what I usually do. Yeah. You've played against a couple different junglers uh, over the full. You did your full cycle in LCS of all the uh, junglers that you've been playing against. Is there anyone that really sticks out to you that you kind of like? Oh, he's really good. Um, I kind of like mimic my play after him. Or is it all theory crafting for you? Uh, generally, I just take bits and pieces of uh, junglers' play styles that I like, like from NA Europe and uh, Korea. I, I don't really just rule out some some uh, junglers. Um, just because they're kind of low rated or whatever, I, I still try to learn from every jungler and yeah. you know kind of piece together those special little unique things that they do. So I have my own kind of unique style. I feel like uh, it's kind of uh, carry based or support based. Like I could change my style, whatever whatever I need to do for my team. And uh, yeah, we usually have a lot of success with that kind of play style. It's just like when I need to carry, I'll, I'll be like the big tank, do do damage, and if I need to be a support if we have like an 80 that's really fed i'll just be like the big front line uh just peel for him all all the time get him a big kda but uh this week was my my week for the kda yeah i bet uh now that you've been playing in the lcs i know that teammates a little bit of uh not necessarily a new team but new team coming into the lcs do you still get land jitters like coming in like uh do you get nervous playing on the stage or playing against other teams uh a little bit i mean at first, I, I was very, very nervous. I was like jumping and missing skill shots, like accidentally fat fingering, fingering flash and smite and stuff like that. But after a while, I, I kind of calmed down, like realized that it's just like playing at home. You just have to kind of imagine you're in that setting and just play as well as you can. And then you get the red bolts, so you're a little more focused and all that stuff. The red bolt kind of makes you, uh, I don't know, like whip your mouse across the screen super fast and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, Red Bull definitely necessary. Am I allowed to say Red Bull? Uh, NB four Red Bull sponsors Team Eight. Uh, <laughs> now that uh, energy drink, en energy drink. Uh, you know, yesterday uh, I didn't get a chance to talk uh, with Maple, but he had his shoes off. Is there any like rituals that you guys kind of like do before the game or during the game? I honestly had no idea he played without shoes on until he just. just like a full Indian style, like, like yeah, I know. I had no idea until. <laughs> that meme came up on reddit where he's just like like this so yeah i, I had no idea he played in those shoes he has pretty nice smelling feet i suppose but yeah teammate is known to be uh, a group of five friends coming together and starting up an organization each one owns a different share uh how did this all come to fruition i that's a very interesting story in itself um so as teammate we kind of uh, joined together through solo queue. Uh, they, they had a small team already and I kind of joined in at the end and we had a lot of success and as we carried on we had to get a house so somebody helped us out with that a, a good friend of ours and we kind of just created the team all together and we all had a share and all that stuff sort of thing um, so am I allowed to say that like we're all, we all have a share I don't, I don't know yeah, but <laughs> I guess you're allowed to. Um, 
Okay, so all right, Maple said it. We're fine. Um, Maple says everything. It's it's okay. So uh, yeah. Uh huh. That's true. Um, so we all kind of joined together in the team. We decided it's it's fair to all be be kind of owners because we got there all together, and it'd be kind of weird if somebody just kind of took the whole ownership of it. But um, that's that's in our our site. It was weird if that happened. So uh, we all kind of joined together in that team. And then we worked towards Challenger Series. As it got serious, we kind of made it. So, um, yeah, that's how it kind of came to be. It's just we had a lot of success, and we decided, hey, let's make this kind of a, a brand, and we can be kind of a team together. Yeah. Do you work with Cali Trolls a lot? Is is Cali Trolls, from my understanding, he's kind of like more of the voice of the team, or is he the shot caller, or does it come from you um, kind of dictating the flow of the game? Uh, it's it's kind of a mix. Like I, I'm more analytical about it. I'm not like, let's do this now. I'm more like, uh, could we do this right now? And then Callie's the one who kind of goes, okay, we're doing this now. I, I kind of like give the options. I say, hey, let's like look at this, look at that. Um, you know, asking for cooldowns and all that sort of stuff. So I'm kind of that guy who reminds people of what, what our goal is. Like, do we want to be split pushing, triple push? Do we want to just engage head on, use everything, blow everything? I'm that kind of guy who just... Gets everybody questioning what we should be doing. Yeah. Future expectations for teammate? Um, good things. <laughs> uh, hopefully higher on the standings. Keep getting higher. That's our goal. And uh, yeah, lots of fan stuff, I think. On our Twitter, we have some giveaways and all that stuff, sort of stuff. So check that out. Uh, and yeah. Is there any shout outs for, that, uh, for fans? Uh, we have actually a growing fan base right now. We love to actually go out and sign people's stuff, uh, them high-fiving us after games and, and, and things like that. It's really, really fun. Uh, to our fans that have been with us since the beginning, the ones who believed in us since Challenger series, that, you know, like, big shout-out to those guys. Uh, all the people who helped us on the way to uh, getting to LCS because it took a lot of, like, kind of them working hard with us, the analysts and uh, sponsors and all that sort of thing. So uh, big shout out to all those guys. Uh, keep watching Teammate. We're going to be a little more inventive as the week, as the weeks go on and uh, keep watching us. Cool. All right. If you want any more <laughs> coverage just like this, be sure to check out SK Gaming on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you need to do. Other than that, until next time, guys.